Welcome back to Squawk Box this morning. Now to the backlash against ESG, environmental, social, and governance investing with at least 45 anti-ESG bills now being processed in 20 different states. Florida has been on the forefront, and our next guest can explain why. I want to welcome Florida CFO Jimmy uh, Petronas. He's here. I want to thank you for joining us on the set, no less. Thanks nice for to having me. So tell us, what, tell us what you think the problem is here. From your perspective. You look, at the end of the day, I, I care about the bottom line of the citizens of the state of Florida. Um, I was in the restaurant business for 30 years, and, and I know this. In the restaurant business, if people are ordering fish, my restaurant's a fish house, if they're ordering fish and I serve them salads, they're going to take their money and go somewhere else. And that's what Dad always says. If you want to get somebody's attention, you get into their pocket. So it's exactly what I feel. At the end of the day, I, I get my arms around the job that I've got, and I care about the bottom line. Right. And the bottom line, I'm, I'm seeing... Dollars being siphoned off. I'm seeing individuals uh, like Fink and others that are that are using the state of Florida's money for a social agenda. And, and guys, do what you want to do with your own money. Run for office. But I just care about returns, and and I'm not seeing that. And you, so are you? So you're pulling the money? We pulled. We pulled. So I, I'm in the treasury for the right. state. And that's different from the retirement fund. Yep. Um, I pulled two billion dollars out. Right. And we. And look, at the end of the day. It wasn't, it wasn't a political move. It's become a political well, argument. That's what I was going to ask you. How much of this do you think is political? I mean, do you genuinely believe that those who are investing that have any are looking at ESG as a thing? And some people, by the way, there are some people who actually look at ESG and think that ESG is going to help their returns. We can obviously have a sure. great debate sure. about that. But do you say to yourself, those people, that those are just bad investors? No. Look, at, at, the, at the end of the day, in, in, in my case, right. BlackRock was performing in the middle of the pack. We took the $2 billion, we split it up over the nine other fund managers, and then we took a piece of it and we managed it in the house. So we're hitting our benchmarks. Right. But what I don't understand, here's the BlackRock thing that I don't get. Yeah. Okay. And, and you may disagree with me on this. Probably. If they're in the middle of the pack, right? You said yeah. they're in the middle of the pack. It's not, I think that there's a lot of people that don't like the letters he, that Larry writes at the beginning of every year, right? I that, that, I, that, that, yeah. that, and I get that. I mean, I get you may just disagree with the letter mm -hmm. or you don't like what he's espousing. But I don't think it's actually, if you go and look at the votes that BlackRock makes relative to what he said, you could say, oh, he's hypocritical, this or that. Yeah. Sure. But in the actual investments on behalf of the clients, it's not clear to me that the votes somehow equate to, to, to something else. And that's why it does, I think some people look at this and say, this seems kind of political. No, it's very simple. If, if the performance isn't there, you move your money. And that's exactly what you look. At the end of the day... So the, here's my question. The nine right. people you move the money to, yeah. all outperform BlackRock? The, 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 how we distribute it, yes. Okay, did you, yes. Did you hear okay what, but that's fair. You hear yeah. what we were talking about off camera. And, and it's actually uh, Vice President Pence wrote a, a, a piece on this exactly mm -hmm. that we are kind of U.S. corporations, while they're preaching here domestically to stop you know, with ESG, preaching to stop fossil fuel production, yeah. they're full bore in China, which right. is 10 times the polluter that we are right now. And I guarantee they're not building structures. So the fossil fuel jobs are over there. Mm -hmm. the, the, they're, they're developing all these projects in China, full bore, and BlackRock doesn't have a word to say no. about China. So we're moving so jobs I, over there. I, we're moving the fossil fuel industry over there. That's hypocritical. And, it's totally but hypocritical. I don't know. Okay, look, but, but we can decide that somebody's a hypocrite or not. Mm -hmm. That should have nothing to do with the action. I think the question the is, yeah. let's just talk about the performance yeah. of, of, of well, what's happening. Weird. The, it, that's the reason why this seems so political, and I'll, I'll give you an example. I don't know if you saw this story. Fascinating story about how so many of the uh, Republican states that are doing what you're talking about are taking lots of donations from Vanguard and BlackRock, they're not saying, I, this is so hypocritical, let me send the money back. Right. I can't deal with you people. They're saying, please send me the money, I want your money. So the, you, you, you see why people look at this. And then the, the other piece of this that I think gets, I'm talking about, talking about hypocritical, but again, I, I don't think hypocritical, whether it's hypocritical or not, even matters. You know, you look at the idea, for so many years, blue states, and we could argue whether they should be doing this or not, have used their influence, potentially inappropriately, to influence the outcomes of these companies, right, uh, for social issues, right? You've seen, you've seen right. blue state comptrollers, sure. treasurers, they've done that. Sure. And for years, red state treasurers and comptrollers said, 
This is outrageous. This is crazy that they're making, these people are making political statements. This whole thing is absurd you're going, you're going and ins what about is insane. Yeah, no, so and then you talk about hypocritical right. and you say, what, what are you doing? I, so I can't even take a contribution to somebody that plays in the bond market. Okay, right. so so Florida law. If you if you're in the bond bond business, I can't even take a check from you. Right. So so you can take that off the table as not as a as a genesis for my decision. Okay. And we we talk quickly about this. I mean, Paris Accord, European it, the, the Europeans are are ordering <laughs> really poor African nations that have great natural resources to not develop their. It's all ESG yeah. though, Andrew. Well, look, well, we can have a conversation about climate well, change and whether you believe it or not. Or what, what, I mean, no, I'm just saying that. Would right. you tell the? You need to keep living without developing all these natural resources. You can't have the lifestyle of Europe has. All I'm saying. All I'm saying is every, it's wrong. everybody's looking at this as, as one guy's a hypocrite. Look, <laughs> you're governor, Governor DeSantis. So you proved right. everybody's a hypocrite. Maybe that's the end of the segment. Everybody's hypocrite. But, but you look, you look at your, your, you look at the Florida right now, and you look at the governor with Disney. Yeah. Okay. And we all talk about uh, cancel culture yeah. and well, not trying to cancel yeah. people. And, and and what happened? Politically, he didn't like what Disney said, so he decides to can't. He, he, he just, you think that they were trying to cancel certain people, and then he decides to cancel them. So I'm just saying the whole thing is 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 cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. But, but at the end of the day, look, with Disney, right? Disney was, um, look, the Disney that was structured 50 years ago is not the Disney right now. It was different times, different like we Right. All I'm saying, though, the impetus to do it was political at the time in the past year, based on the things that they said. I think they brought themselves to light that they had self governance, and people resented what they were doing with self governance. They, uh, right. When you start bringing attention to yourself, people are going to start right. asking questions. And if you want to start bringing attention to yourself and they start asking right. questions, you might have to answer questions okay. that you don't can want you, to answer. Oh, you, can you come back here and answer more questions? Because we would love to continue yeah. this conversation. I, I think this is it. fabulous. Thank can you. I tell you something? I've been watching him since 1995. My deepest apologies. I love it. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's thank like, you. Thank you. Appreciate it. I got any better? I, I, I think so. <laughs> coming I, think up. so I, you know, I just love the banter. You, 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 you do. We do too. Uh, coming up. Uh